Hi, it's Jay from Encodia. I'm going to run through in this video how to uh, merge documents using our merge document uh, documents to array action. So let's, uh, let's let's create a flow. I'm just going to do an instant cloud flow. I'm going to manually trigger this uh, demo merge documents. In this example, I'm going to pick up some files from SharePoint. So the first thing I need to do is get the files. Um, I'm going to point it at this SharePoint site here that's got uh, in this particular folder that's got four documents. So let's just bring up that site and PDF demo. I think is the site and the library name is documents, I believe. And I'm going to limit it to a folder, so we should be able to pick up. If I remember where I put these, uh, flow source demo documents. Oh, sorry, yep. Documents first. Wherever I've put it, share documents, different name there. Flow source demo documents, and I've got a merge demo folder. So the files that are going to re get returned back should be these four documents. So I've got two Word documents, PowerPoint, and, a, and an Excel spreadsheet. So the next thing we need to do is I need to create an array, uh, an array variable that's going to store these files so that I can send them uh, for... Uh, I know what I need to do so that I can store the files and send them together for merging into a single PDF document. So let's just call this files and the variable type needs to be array. The next step is for each of those file, files that have been returned by the get files action, I need to go and get the file content, which is the file itself um, from, from SharePoint. So I'm just gonna again point this to the same place, which is the PDF demo site. And then in the identifier, I need to pass the identifier, which is coming from the array of the get files properties action. So if I just click on here, you can see here, get files properties only. And I'm just going to type identifier and I'm going to select that. And automatically it's put it into a loop because get files is returning an array, a number of items. So it knows that one or more files are going to come back. So it needs to go into an apply to each. And then what I need to do is um, I need to do add an action and I need to append to an array variable. So I'm going to actually append the value of this file um, or the information about the file to, to this array variable called files. Now I'm just going to jump over to this article here on our support site, so merge document arrays PDF. And in here is the JSON schema that you that you need to use. So if we just go back here and then we'll use that. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to get rid of the, the quote marks and file name including extension. And I'm going to pass in the file name with extension from the get files properties only action. Okay, so file name with extension. And for file content, I'll do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to replace it with oops, if I can screen and just do uh, file content should be there. So just make sure we've got set to the right place. And there we go. So at this point now, what's happening is I'm retrieving a bunch of files from SharePoint. I've got an array variable called files. I'm getting each actual file from SharePoint and I'm pending it into this array variable. So the next thing I need to do is really easy. I can just grab the encoding action, merge documents, array to PDF. And I'm just going to call this example PDF. And at the moment, it's asking me to sort of pass in manually. Now if I tick this button here which says switch input to entire array, that enables me then to pass in that files array and that should have that covered. And the next step is I'm going to create a file and I'm just going to pop it into OneDrive so that I can see where that's going to go. So I'm going to not put it in the root, I'll put it into support. And I'm going to pass in the file name property and file content property from the encoding action. So at this point, that flow is pretty much done. So we've got get the files from SharePoint, we've got the files array, get the file content for each file, appending it, both the file name and the file content, and we're going to merge that uh, array of documents and we're going to store it in OneDrive. So let's just give that a test. Uh, manually, it's a brand new flow. Click continue, run flow. So things we're going to watch out for, we're going to have a look at the run history and I'm, we're going to focus on the information that's actually been generated um, into the array because it's, I'm going to, this, going to lead on to a second part of this, uh, this demonstration. 
So if we go to apply to each, you'll notice in the append to array variable that the file content of the file that I actually got passed is passed in this, there's two properties. So two JSON properties that go in, I've got dollar content type and then dollar content. So that is the base 64. So that's the actual file. And this is a MIME type. So that's, that's how um, uh, Microsoft are passing some file content. And we have, it's really important I said some because it's not always the case and this is what you need to watch out for. So that's, that's worked. If I just pick up uh, my OneDrive and we can see I've got my example PDF. So I'll just open that. So let me just bring this across. So we can see, so there's that file, example PDF, and I'll open that and it's on the other screen. So we've got some demo documents in here. I'll just flip through those so you can see slideshow, Word documents, those will be made fine. So that's, that's all good, so that's, that's worked fine. Now, just to sort of emphasize this, this point that sometimes not everything comes, not all file contents are generated in that form. We're gonna, we're gonna do something extra here. So I'm gonna add in, convert takes you out. Sorry. Convert HTML to PDF, so pick up the encoding one. And somewhere in here we've got convert HTML to PDF. Um, output, let's just call it HTML.PDF is what we're gonna generate. And I'm just gonna pass in some really basic data into HTML data directly. So that's gonna generate the, the PDF document basically with these contents in. Now what I wanna do, I wanna put the, the output of this convert HTML to PDF into the array variable. So let me just do this and let's just do append to array files and I need to let's just copy what we had here so control a copy and pop it down to here now obviously we don't want those properties because they're the wrong ones what we do want to pop in is the outputs from the encoding action so file name and then file content right okay I'm going to rerun this and this time it, it, it will fail. So let's just do test and I'll do this automatically. It'll actually fail really quickly um, and, I'll, and I'll show you, um, we'll know quite quickly that it's uh, failed but Flow's got a built-in um, retries into it so although it'll fail quite quickly um, we won't see the error straight away because it will it will pause for a period of time before those errors are generated. So there we go, that's seven seconds and it's tried to merge them now. And I'm actually gonna look at the logs in the back end so I can see that's already failed. So it failed at 7.27.35 in uh, UTC time, which is now, and you'll see that it's, it's, it's basically not returning those errors. But if I click on the action, you'll see that it's actually doing retries. So we know that's failed. Now, why is it failed? Again, let's review. Append to array variable, that's all, that's fine. Let's have a look at this. That used to be okay, but isn't anymore. What's gonna happen here is that Microsoft, are gonna, Microsoft Power Automate is gonna see this base64 string and go, oh, okay, I need to encode that string. So it's not gonna treat it as a string. So by the time that reaches the encoding endpoint, that base64 string will have been silently changed again. So basically it would have been rebase64 encoded. Thus it's corrupted the file so that the data that we receive is in effect is, uh, is corrupt and we can't convert that file. Oh, well, sorry, we can't merge that file because in effect it's a, it's a corrupt document. So how do we fix it? Well, basically we need to tell Power Automate that this is a document, don't do anything with it. And we do that really simply by using an expression and the expression I'm going to use is base64 to binary. Okay, so we just type the expression in and then we need to go to our dynamic content and we need to select file content. Okay, and click OK. And this time, so basically all we've done is wrap the encoding file content property into base64 to binary. Okay, now let's just rerun the test from the failed. And this time it'll work. And the reason why it's working is because the, the file content's been appended in a different format this time and in a format that's gonna work correctly. And there are different actions across Power Automate that return just the base64 string 
like in code, you know, there are other, it's a fairly standard uh, way of dealing with things in, in some respects. The way that Microsoft returns stuff is non-standard, but now look, if I do append to array variable, you'll see this time that it's, it's put it into that structure and you'll see that the merge document array actions worked absolutely fine. When I click example.pdf again, let me just, this time it's got five pages in it and you'll see that there's the hello encodion and those files. Okay, so hopefully that's uh, given a good example of how to merge uh, any type of documents using the encoding action. You'll have noticed that the encoding action is silently converting files to PDF as well as merging them. So it, it's not just PDFs that get converted, it's any of the 70 plus file types that we support. It will convert them silently to PDF and then it will merge them. And you can see how to also append other documents manually to the array before you, uh, before you create them. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please check out support dot encoding.com or you can email us at support at encoding.com.